Yes, I'm leaving. Leaving. I'm long gone. Hey, what's up, YouTube? I'm Zeke, and welcome to the Dream Green Show. Today is week three of my AMD 52-week trading journey, and so far, I made $9.30. If you guys like that intro, go ahead and leave a thumbs up down below. That beat was made by one of my old teammates I used to run track with in college. I'll leave his link down in the description down below if you guys want to check out a couple of his beats. Now, I know $9.30 might not seem like a lot to you guys, but I keep telling you, I am the average Joe. I don't make a lot of money out there. I only have so much money to invest, just like a lot of my subscribers that watch this channel. So slow growth for me is amazing as long as I don't take any losses. If I could go 52 weeks without taking any losses, just declare me the, the, the king of trading. But most likely, I would not go 52 weeks without taking any losses. So as long as my win ratio outpaces my loss ratio, to my risk and reward, I should be successful by week 52. Cross my fingers. But so far, I'm up $9.30. Let me pull up my phone so I can show you the trades that I made last week that got me to $9.30. And then we're gonna go over the news for AMD this week. And then we're gonna take a look at the charts to see what are my plays for AMD this week. Am I going to buy, sell? Am I going to day trade, swing trade, or call some options? In this video, we're going to figure that out. But let's pull up my phone. All right, guys, here we are on AMD. We take a look at the week. AMD went up 5.95%, which is amazing. If I would have bought one share of AMD, I would be up $3.14. But this week in AMD alone, I made $4 from doing a put credit spread on AMD. To remind you guys, before I remind you guys what a put credit spread is, um, I have 47 shares of AMD. Average cost is $30.80. I am up $1,180.98. That's, that's my current position on AMD. Um, so to remind you guys where the put credit spread is, all you have to do is hit trade, trade options. And let's say for the week of July 17th, what I did was I did a sell put on AMD. The price is at $55.93. If I do not think it's gonna fall below below $53, I would put in, I'll hit the select button at the top and put a sell put on AMD and put a sell put on AMD 53. That means I do not believe the price is gonna fall below $53. And if it does fall below $53, I have to buy 100 shares of AMD, but they're gonna credit my account $61. A put credit spread is I also hit, a, I buy a put and then you hit the strike price right below. That means if I below, I won't have to buy 100 shares of AMD. I'll just be collecting the premium. So if I hit continue, review, and buy one put credit spread, they would credit my account immediately $14 straight to my account. And if I hit review, they would use $50 for a collateral. So remember, AMD price right now is at $55. So for $50, I can't even buy one share of AMD. But if I do a put credit spread and AMD stays above that $53 strike point, I will be credited $14 to my account without having to buy any shares of AMD. So that is how I came up last week on AMD by doing a put credit spread. I recommend that you guys do it more out of the money than closer to the money so you guys can lessen your chance at losing. What I mean by that is if we take a look at, let's cancel this. If we take a look at the sell put, it shows your chance of profit right there. 52.50, the chance of profit is 81%. Uh, $52, 83%. But you'll make less money the further you are out from the share price. So that is how I came up on AMD last week. So to make our play on AMD this week, let's take a look at the news and then pull up the charts. So I found a couple of good news articles over AMD. So, so AMD and Nvidia are going to be in the new Xbox and PlayStation 5 that's coming out. Uh, the consoles are gonna be using their GPUs and also using AMD as their CPUs. So for all the new consoles that, that are getting made and shipped out, 
coming this Christmas season, uh, I expect AMD and NVIDIA to see a boost to their company, especially since they're going to be producing new consoles for the next five or 10 years or so. So that's very good news for AMD and NVIDIA. Since the Rona Rona news came out, uh, gaming has been on the incline. So that has also helped AMD and NVIDIA out at the same time. Um, some analysis says that the strike price of AMD, the target price that they think the AMD will end this year is at $65. Right now, AMD is at $55. So that's a gain of $10 from now into the end of the year. And they also see that Nvidia goes from 420 to 460 by the end of the year. So a $10 increase from AMD is that some of the, of the professional analysis are saying that AMD will go their price target by the end of the year. And also some other good news is that AMD, their latest GPU, uh, Navi, their family uh, has just been released. Um, a lot of computer gamers, they're still using their legacy GPUs like the, um, the 1080 or the 2080, but they believe that the new GPU, the Navi, uh, that's gonna be targeted towards the high-end gamers sometimes in the second half of 2020. And they also believe that if the Xbox X and the PlayStation 5 comes out at a reasonable price, that that will boost AMD share price and will also be a positive for the company. But those were a couple of the news articles that I found. Let's pull up the AMD charts to see exactly what I'm going to do this week. All right, guys, here we are on AMD, the four hour, 180 day chart. Um, I drew these lines during the week one and week two video. If you guys want to know exactly why I drew these lines, go back and check out those videos. But let's skip forward a little bit and zoom in on the last couple of days. Um, I drew this line right here a very long time ago because it touched right here and it touched right here. And I predicted that it was going to bounce off this line and then head back up. So if we zoom out a little bit, AMD, this was the old resistance line right here and it was very near to the old resistance line if this line was drawn out just a little bit more but it became super overbought so it sold off before it hit the resistance line if we zoom in a little bit it could make a play back all the way back down to the 180 day simple moving average and if it comes right here i might buy back in I'm, I'm not gonna do any calls. I'm going to just buy these shares because AMD is on the upswing. Um, if it trade, if it continues to trade sideways, I'll wait until it actually make a price move up or price move down. But if it comes back and hits the fifty-three dollar and seventy-five cent price point, I will buy AMD for the upcoming week. Hopefully by Tuesday or Wednesday, I could get in at a good price. If it comes here and fall down. To $49, I would still hold on. But if it fall below $49.50, I'm going to sell AMD. If I buy it at $53, I'm going to sell it at $59. Just reading the charts right here, that's my play on the week. The uh, MACD is still high. It's looking like it's going to cross over pretty soon. Hopefully, AMD just trades sideways. But if you do pull back, I am going to buy in. So that is me reading the charts this week. Um, there's nothing too crazy about the charts. AMD did just cross the 180 day simple moving average last week right here. So I'm seeing AMD could possibly be on the uptrend or it could do the exact same thing. It came right here, bounced off the old support, broke above the 180 day simple moving average and then broke down below and then all the way back down. So I don't know where AMD is gonna go this week, but I do know that um, they did have some good news come out. So I'm not gonna just buy into AMD on the opening of the market Monday. Hopefully Tuesday, I could get in on AMD for a good price. But if it goes all the way back up, I'm just gonna stay out of it until it has a little pullback and then I'll be able to get back in unless some more big news come out and then I'm going to play the news. So let's zoom in on the 20 day, one hour chart to see if we see anything different. There goes off the support. It broke above the 180 day simple moving average and it's pulling back a little bit. So if it become, if it does come back to this line, I am definitely buying back in. Okay guys, point blank, end of story. I'm gonna buy back in if it comes back down to this line. It trades sideways. I'ma wait until it start having an upward trend again, and then I'll be able to buy back in. But what I don't like is that on the 
180 day for an hour chart. If we zoom in and put an arrow on the end of this and zoom out, it's just it's just trading sideways right now. So it's not on an uptrend, it's not on a downtrend, it's just trading sideways. So I'm waiting for some price action, some volume, and some price movement. So I did pull up a question on my YouTube channel in the creative section. I asked, which company would you invest into? 213 of you dreamers did answer this question. Thank you for being a part of the dream team. If you wanna join the dream team, just hit the subscribe button down below. It really helps out this channel a lot. 63% uh, of you says that you'll buy AMD and 37% of you said that you'll buy Intel. And just looking at the comments alone, Intel because it has growth, not a bad answer. AMD has a lot of growth uh, potential with their Ryzen CPUs. Yes, they do. Um, I want to say Intel only for the simple fact that they pay dividends. Don't just invest into a company just because they pay dividends, okay? Um, invest into some growth company, guys. Don't only invest into companies because they pay dividends. Um, both are solid. I don't think you can go wrong with either. Both are growing like crazy. Both are profitable. That is by far the best answer to me uh ben in it david uh 904 thank you for your response to that question all right youtube there you go that is my play for the week on amd uh i'm gonna wait for the price to pull back just a little bit i don't want to get greedy and get in right now and hoping it's gonna go up i want to get in at a good price point because i only have a limited amount of money i'm not I'm not rich. I don't have a whole bunch of money to just play around with. I actually, I'm actually trying to make money from this. So I'm gonna look for a good buying opportunity. If I don't see it, I'ma just be patient and, and wait because right now the high, the unemployment rate is at an all time high and the stock market is at an all time high. And those two just don't, it, it, don't, it don't add up. So if there is a pullback, I'm gonna have some cash available for me to buy the dip. To help me figure out if you guys like this series, I'm not going ahead and leave a thumbs up button if I get over, um, I think the last video got 50 likes. That lets me know that you guys like this series and I and I will continue to do this series. But other than that, um, hit the thumbs up button, subscribe. I'm Zeke, bringing you the Dream Green Show, and I'm out. Peace.